I'm gonna put boiling water over the seed starting mix. Feel any possible eggs in here? And then I start filling in my seeds starting um, trays, six packs that I usually do if it's cold enough. And the trick is to push them in real well so it will fill the bottoms. until it's almost leveled on the top so it should look like that and I like to just fill up as many as I think I'm gonna need so my estimation I'm gonna probably need at least nine probably 18 I would say I'm gonna be planting onions Three different kinds, leeks, I'm gonna be planting basil, rosemary, also a few different types of peppers. I'll decide how many I want but um, I don't want to overdo it because I really don't have much space for peppers. The most I'm gonna do is maybe one bed or maybe not even that many. Uh, so one bed would probably take up to 32 plants and for peppers I'm probably just gonna do maybe 16 or 20 we'll see you always always need some extra because they don't all survive I'm gonna do six six packs at a time because that fits into one of these trays. So the first thing I'm gonna do is going to be all the onions. We actually have some leftovers from last year, the red ones. And I'm gonna be overseeding them, meaning there's gonna be a bunch of seeds in each. So I would say about eight or ten seeds per cell because this is not going to be their final place I'm going to probably transplant these before they go out we'll see how that goes 
every year is different. And make sure you open up your bags because there will be still some seeds in the corners. I'm just gonna plant them all up because I find it that it's not worth to keep it for next year. It's usually not as viable. Might as well just plant them all. So this is gonna be four trays here. I'm gonna try to put some more. It's hard to tell because they're black, but I think I have plenty in each of these. So these four are red. And here I'm going to put some leeks, that way I keep the red away from the uh, yellow onions. So for the leeks I probably am going to do two trays here. Same concept, it can be planted in a bunch and then when I plant it I'll take them apart and maybe Blend them two, three together in a bunch. So I'm just gonna plant them all again. Might be an overkill, but who knows what kind of germination I'm gonna have. Again, this is from last year, so leftover seeds. And then I'm just gonna move on to the next ones. I'm gonna put some uh, marker in these. So it doesn't get mixed up too much. And I usually just reuse these tags from last year, two years ago, how long ago? As long as they last until they disintegrate. They don't need to be big. So I just, I'm just going to say something like... Uh, This is red onion, so I'm gonna say red. I need a better marker. These markers don't last. So they're not going to be readable if I put it on in the gar into the garden. So it's just for internal use. Until I can recognize them. They're big enough to be recognized. And then we have the leaks. And I keep track of the dates in a book. I keep a journal, so I don't have to put the dates on this, really. And on to the next one. This has uh, four trays of yellow onions, uh, green onions, bunching onions, and early Vienna kurabis. These trays have four sets of basil, that's fresh seeds that I bought this year. Uh, same for the rosemary, I'm gonna plant only two of those. Parsley, I'm gonna have uh, two sets of parsley and these seeds are actually 11 years old. Now, I did plant some two years ago and they were just fine, so I'm gonna try this here again, see if they're still um, viable. And then I have a whole six pack of jalapeno peppers. I only need a few pepper uh, plants of that. And this is from um, home harvested seeds. Also, um, I do have uh, yellow banana peppers that are also um, home harvested 
and then I have still more peppers that I'm gonna uh, plant uh, specifically I'm gonna do giant Marconi uh, you probably just need um, one of these trays I'm gonna plant the gypsy peppers these are just really long uh, red peppers um, mild peppers also one tray and then we have bell peppers I don't know how many I'm gonna so again these are home harvested this is from the farmhouse this is from the farmhouse garden and this is from my own garden at any rate all the trays I'm gonna cover with various levels of dirt so uh, for example my cabbage seeds are really tiny so for those I'm gonna put really very tiny layer of coverage and I'm gonna try to find some drier ones on the side here it's not as wet maybe which is not gonna be available oh here it is okay so these are a little drier so for these little seeds I'm just gonna barely sprinkle dirt on them just so they kind of touching same for uh, the green cabbage they have small seeds as well the basil and rosemary also have very small seeds so those get a little layer just a tiny sprinkle same for the parsley I still can put something in here these four um, I think I'm gonna put the Marconi peppers in here and then for the jalapeno and banana peppers they are bigger seeds so I can actually put a bigger uh, thicker layer of starting mix on the top of them and then as you can see they need to be all covered same goes for this guy and then I'm going to take these upstairs in my room uh, where it's warmer I'm going to kind of push them down a little and as far as anything with peppers on it and herbs that's going to go on a heating tray a heating pad the others are just gonna be up there uh, without any lights and then as soon as I see some green stuff coming up um, I'm gonna put them under grow light uh, upstairs here's my setup um, upstairs where it's warmer I have my onions and cold crops cabbage and, and stuff down here uh, the grow light right now it's not on so right now I'm just gonna wait for them to start sprouting on the top these guys are on a heating pad and these are my peppers and herbs if you recall these herbs I planted a long time ago but this is why I had to replant the parsley because the only thing grew is that little thing and I don't think it's gonna go anywhere but I just left it and then I have some oregano growing slowly but surely so we'll check back on these in about seven to ten days when i have something else to show you see you next time